What's going on with Mark Vargas? What's going on with Jose Duran? Well, why ask me? They're right here with me. Find out in the next edition of Sideline Sports Podcast. Welcome to Sideline Sports Podcast. If you're not on the sideline, it's not Sideline Sports Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Sideline Sports Podcast. I am the host, Alex Naveka. It is a pleasure to be a part of your midweek action, wherever you may be. And of course, if you're not on the sideline, it's not Sideline Sports Podcast, the source of your SoCal sports news. On my left-hand side, if you guys have forgotten, yes, that is the Mark Vargas from Center Locked. And he's got some big moves he's going to be sharing with us. What's going on, Mark? Long time no seen, long time no podcasting together. What's up, man? Man, what's up, man? It feels good to be back home. feels good to be back on the Sideline Sports Podcast where it all started. Um, you know, excited for what's to come. We got some big plans. Um, and, you know, just excited to be back with the boys, you know, get this thing going. There you have it. I mean, we've got so much planned out. It's so exciting. So many things coming up, things that we weren't doing before. But before we can even talk about that, what about my man down here in the bottom screen? He's got his own screen. He is the host of Futboleando. He goes by the name of Jose Duran, English broadcaster, Spanish broadcaster. He can do it all. He can wash your car, whatever you want. Whatever you want him to do. What's going on, Jose? Long time no talk, man. Jack of all trades over here, my man. No, it's glad to be back. Like Mark said, uh, good to be home, you know, and 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 company of great people, you know, and uh, a lot of great stuff been going around in the background in terms of you know a uh, soccer world where which I'm in, but you know excited what's coming up in in, in this year for for sideline in terms of you know mixing mixing it up, bringing everyone great content. Uh, outside of soccer and in different sports here in Southern California. Absolutely. We have a lot of coverage that's going to be coming up here within the next couple of weeks, even during the summer. We're already planting some seeds, working on some things that are coming up here. But before we even talk about that as well, before you guys continue with this episode, please pause the episode, go down, click on the subscription button, comment down below, put a thumbs up on the on the episode as well it'll really help us out and help us out on our numbers as well we've got a goal trying to reach 500 i would i would like to reach 500 by the end of the year but let's make it happen guys so center lock can grow futboleando can grow and sideline sports podcast can grow i will get you guys the content that you guys all want to see because we've got a lot built up but enough about me you guys already saw my episode about me what happened to me for the last year Mark Vargas, what is going on, man? I mean, you it's like the football world just revolves around you. You're a football coach. You've got so many things going on for center lock. Like, man, I'm already I'm already playing spoiler on you, man. What's going on with you? Man, it, it's been a uh, interesting few months to say at least. Um, got back into coaching, ended up coaching this past season, uh, coaching varsity football at Shadow Hills High School. Um, currently, um, the th one of the throwers coaches for the track and uh, field team at Shadow Hills. Um, currently making some moves within the coaching world, so we're gonna, you know, wait to drop that in full. But you know, we'll be coaching again varsity football at a uh, a higher, uh, we'll say, higher coaching position. And um, you know, it, it's been a uh, exciting time for me to get back into the actual game you know i love watching football i can talk it all day um but to help the next generation to help uh, uh these young men grow into the future leaders that they you know they should be um is something that i've always had a passion for even when i was playing just working with my teammates working with uh you know the younger the freshman classes coming in or whatever it was um just trying to help build and uh 
like I said, I got some some moves coming in from the coaching world for football. So sometime, I'll say sometime this month before before May, we'll have a update where uh, I'll be coaching next uh, next season. Some some know, but um, make it official by the end of the month. Okay, okay, you got a little secret. We'll definitely be keeping our eyes out on that. Um, but as far as like the football is concerned, um, are you more on the offensive end, the defensive end? Because I know when you're playing career, you're kind of more on the O line type of thing. Um, yeah. Are you still coaching uh, more on the offensive side of the game? Yeah. So right now, um, this past season, I was a the varsity offensive line coach. Um, up this upcoming season, we'll say this. Um, I'm going to be coaching varsity O-line again, but I will be handling the run game coordinator. So a little bit uh, of a higher position up going up. Um, I, I do work with at this new school I'll be going to. I, I won't be the head guy of recruiting, but um, this past season I was handling all recruiting, social media stuff. Um, it's kind of in my, you know, my jack, you know, what I do. So, uh, I, yeah, offensive side during the game you know all the practices all that but I do a little bit more than that you know I make sure recruiting wise got some of my boys some offers and just networking with coaches trying to build the best uh experience for whatever school I'm at and you know myself as well uh, I want to take this as far as I can and um you know the ones that know what I do that they know that I, I bring uh I bring it so uh it's exciting. Like I said, man, coaching, if you, if you've never coached before, it's, uh, it can be very long hours. It can be very, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, you get into coaching because you have a passion for the game, right? Um, there's some things, you know what, I was a pretty damn good football player. I understood a lot of concepts, a, a lot of, uh, uh, we say uh, just how to do a certain drill, how to do a certain uh, movement. So it's interesting, you know, to teach a kid who doesn't know that. And some, you know, some never eventually do it at that type of level, but then you got some who take it further than what you were doing. So um, that's for me is always the biggest win is when you can take somebody who was maybe not starting at zero, but definitely you see the growth and uh, just potential and everything that they got going on and um, the families of, you know, just it, it's a positive situation. And like I said, I love coaching. And now I get to do a little bit of both with sideline sports center lock show, um, you know, and, and the coaching. So it's just going to be an exciting time to see this summer, this fall. I know we got some things lined up, hopefully crossing some fingers, you know, maybe we got, Jose and Alex down in the Valley covering some games. Maybe we can make that happen, you know, but it, there, there's a lot of, a lot of things to look forward to. And um, I, I just feel like in sports in general, you know, there's so many stories that can be told and um, coaching is the same thing. Coaching is just about stories and uh, how you build relationships and how you, um, you know, I, I, things I went through 10 years ago, I'm explaining to these kids now who are, man, five years old, 10 years ago. So it, it's just continuing to pass on whatever you're, you, you were taught and, you know, just, just keep it going, passing into the next generation, man. Okay. You think we'll see you uh, doing some NCAA coaching, man? Maybe he uh, let's, let's say this. Let's say this. Uh, man, I would love to. That's the goal, of course. Um, I, I, I've been offered some junior college jobs. Um, one of the jobs I was offered this past, I'll say winter, I got offered to go coach a professional team in Brazil. Not the head coach, but on the offensive side. Um, really cool, you know, opportunity. You know, I don't speak Portuguese. Um, you know, I don't I don't got the the situation to get up and go to Brazil, but to know that um, my stuff's getting out there, people know who I am, um, and they see how I work. That's the biggest thing for me is I can post all day about what I do and, and you know this and that and who I help. But at the end of the day, people know who I am and people know how I operate, and uh, that's a real cool thing for me because 
you know, you got a lot of, you know, I ain't trying to be a hater, but you got a lot of coaches out there that um don't really put that little extra a little extra oomph in it and I you know I feel like I do and um it's just continue like I said just continuing to help the kids and everything you, you know I do is of course it, I get some benefit you know growing and moving up the the ranks and all that in the coaching world but um it's just these I'm, I'm telling you man you get a kid that thirty forty thousand dollars you helped them get in a scholarship there ain't nothing better uh you know to see the the look on their face, the family, you know, mom's crying, mom's telling you thank you. And um, it, that, that's what I love to do. So definitely would love to go in the college ranks. And, you know, like I said, there's been there's been some opportunities offered. And, um, you know, this would be my, my third year coming up as a varsity coach. And uh, I know, you know, coming down the line, some big things will be headed my way. So I just got to put my head down, keep working, keep helping people. And, you know, good things will come to uh, people who put, you know, good things in. So yeah, that's, that's, that's where I'm at. And just like I said, just excited to be back doing the podcasting game and uh, just, just continue to do what we're doing, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there you talked a little bit about your coaching career. What's, what's coming up. You said you got a big surprise coming up and sure. now, What's next for center locked? I mean, the three of us have been, you know, quiet. We've been yeah. on the sidelines. I yeah. mean, people th think that, hey, you guys haven't been doing anything. You guys haven't been uploading. You know, we've been in a hibernation mode. We've been thinking of some ideas. What do you have cooking, man? What's going on? Uh, what do you have going on here for center locked coming up? Oh, man, I got some big guests coming up, as always. You know, I'm, I'm going to spice it up. I got some... Uh some guests that I wanted to work with in the past. Um, I got some guests that I, I wasn't able to reach now. You know, I got that reach being a coach. Um, you know, I, my thing is it was center lock at the show itself. You know, I'm starting to build that center lock brand within the coaching within, like I said, podcasting, uh, just overall, like I, when people say what is center lock, right. It's, a uh, Yes, it's a football mindset, right? When I was playing football, I played center, and it was a yeah, – I'm going to have – I'm going to – excuse my language. I got, I got that shit on lock. You know what I mean? That was yeah. what I would always tell people. Um, but now going forward, man, it's just a mindset that um, it, it's it's good. It's positivity, right? It's positivity. It's good uh, energy, good vibrations, and just bringing good situations to whoever checks in, whoever – is involved with center lock, you know, the, the brand itself, you know, like I said, it's just trying to always get more, always want more, but just be a, a solid base. And you know that you're always going to get good content. Um, like I said, whether it's from a football standpoint, a coaching standpoint, podcasting, or you're just, you know, trying to get some advice. Um, I got a lot of good friends out there that, are in that same boat you know you guys are two of them that uh you know i wouldn't be working with you guys if i guys if i didn't feel like you guys were good people and who, who stood for the right thing you know um but overall you know i got some guests coming up that should be should i be that look it this summer we got some people coming up i mean late spring we'll be coming in you know we're already beginning of april so you know this spring i should say we got some things coming up but just the you know keep an open mind to who we bring on the show and you might not know who they are. You might, you might know who they are, but just know that I, I got some interesting conversations. I got some uh, sports related. I got some non-sports related. You never know what you're going to get. Like I, like I said, every time, welcome to the show where anything goes, you're tuned into the center lock show. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. And and I and I feel like you know bringing a little bit some of that back to the sideline sports, um, because you know like the ideas we've been talking about, been bouncing off of each other, uh, between me, you, and Jose, man. We we could be at a soccer game, we could be at a baseball game, a football game, man. Who, who knows? We might be at a WrestleMania, SummerSlam. Who, you yeah. know, you don't know. Hey, here yeah. we come. Hey. Let's go. We, we don't know. You don't know. So I, you just got to keep tuning in. You just got to keep whatever we put you got to be tapped into like i said from the instagram reels to you know 
my boy Alex is a TikToker now. So if you guys don't know that, Alex is going to be a TikToker. He's going to be doing all those dances. He's going to be doing everything, <laughs> those challenges. But nah, whatever <laughs> platform we're posting to, whatever we got, I mean, you just got to be tapped into. And, um, you know, whatever show, Sideline Sports, Center Lock, Club Rilando, you know what I mean? Like, you got to be tapped in because you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know who, who's going to pop up. We're in so many different worlds that you just – like you just don't know. And I think that's what we bring to the table that, you know, maybe other podcasts or other shows, you know, they kind of stay in their lane. We, we got multiple lanes. We got multiple avenues where we can go. And that just shows who we are as people, because, you know, we can walk into a room, not know anybody, but by the time we leave that room, we got 30 new friends or we could walk into a room where we know all 30 people and we could walk out with a whole new outtake of all, all 30 of those people. So, um, you know, it's just exciting times to be a subscriber, a follower, a, a family member of the sideline sports family. You know what I mean? It, it's That's what we, we stand for. And, you know, like I said, man, I, I'm excited. I know you're excited, Alex. I want to know, man, what's going on with you, Jose, man, over here calling – covering all the playoff games and man what's up with you bro he's doing it in spanish by the way guys this is in espanol he's calling no oh, go <laughs> you you putting the salsa on the tacos i love to see it man enough about us tell us what's going on with you man we're we're gonna shut up now it's all you no nah, i'm good you know great to hear uh, you know what 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 you've been up to mark a bunch of great stuff content coming up alex as well as you uh but for myself you know yeah like you mentioned just some some play-by-play -play broadcasting some spanish some english i think uh you know from the conversations we we've been having and you know i i, I got married up in last year in september uh opened up a lot of time a lot of space uh, and uh, thankfully, I was able to go ahead and just start jumping into, you know, covering more soccer, you know, specifically uh, to begin the year. I wanted to uh, make a priority to start covering uh, uh, South Southeast High School uh, men's boys soccer, which is in the Eastern League, uh, my alma mater. Uh, we, uh, you know, I was able to go ahead and get out there. And, you know, I think it's important, you know, like Mark said, you, you know, for us to provide a platform for 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 the future right i think uh you know being out there with uh you know i went to you know just briefly for you all uh teams who are are in the eastern league are you know southeast high school southgate high school uh bell high school Huntington park roosevelt garfield uh to name a few so i got to go out there and you know it just felt great to be back out there seeing the faces seeing you know how crazy to think man i was just a couple years ago more now than more than a couple of years ago that we're on these fields, you know, with the same, where these kids are at, uh, not knowing what's going to, the future holds for us, you know, but if we could, uh, you know, for myself now give back and, and provide for, for these kids, a platform for the talents to be, uh, you know, uh, a showcase. That's what I, that's what I want to do, you know, and I, I'm able to go ahead and, and kick that off. And, uh, you know, it's a big, big project of mine that's growing and it still hasn't, gone to where it's it, it's gonna be but something that that was started off in the beginning of the year i just want to backtrack real quick jose uh can you are you able to lift the wedding ring up with just with one hand or do you need the <laughs> wife to come in and kind of hold it That's up it. for you to show it on the camera or i'm just purposely clear my oh <laughs> there it is yes yes i think it's sweet heck yeah man, yeah, man. congratulations Finally, uh... for you guys tied down and you know uh eventually uh it was at the right time and and everything went great last year for for us um a lot of planning a lot of goddamn planning to 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 get to 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 last year in september but you know it's it's great times now well what i'm trying well so we got married here uh in the santa barbara courthouse where we're trying to get married in mexico through the church uh where uh well now my wife her hometown in in Samora, Michoacán. Okay, from Michoacan. Okay, you're yeah. in Mexico 
and here damn must be nice man i i tell you that i'm already high key I'm start covering some soccer games man damn hey yeah. you know what like every i i am I'm, I'm looking to travel a lot so uh, now that the times opened up more like you mentioned before we we kind of jumped on mark right you got to take your 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 mic wherever you go i think the same thing here we'll take my camera wherever i go and if i'm there's some local soccer going on where i'm at i'm gonna go ahead and, and cover it you know and i think uh from where we started you know like uh, just in, in general, right? Sideline, like Fuguliando, like center lock, the, the possibilities are endless here, wherever the hell we want to take this, you know? And I think, uh, you know, getting back on here with you guys and, you know, just getting back into the beginning, sort of beginning of the year, April, baseball, however you want to look at it, right? Uh, but just either way, just getting back into the grind of things and, and being back with you guys, it, it feels great, man. Hell yeah, man. Okay, and uh, just a quick uh, personal question. How has the married life been treating you guys it's great no I, I honestly don't feel any different than what it was beforehand so uh we've been in together for almost two years so i think when when you have the right one and 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 you're ready to go ahead and take that next step it doesn't really feel like that much of a change uh for instance right did they bring me a little chick-fil-a hey there you wow. go. Unsolicited, unsolicited I need blood. That. You know, so it's 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 one of the benefits, right? Uh, it's it's uh, I, I take care of her some some uh, takeout nights, and she takes care of me some of the takeout nights. But now, overall, man, it's it's great. I I I'm enjoying it so much, and uh, so far, just just enjoying the ride. Hey, uh, does she have any sisters? I mean, come on, to bring Chick Fil A, <laughs> she's got to have a sister that can also be bringing Chick Fil A. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna have to make the trip out to Samora if you want to go ahead and get some some family relatives out there, man. Oh man, looks like I got it. <laughs> I got to plan out. Get I got to renew the passport then. Yeah, um, man, but all good, you know. Outside of, of 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 the marriage life, like I mentioned, you know, we we started off the year kind of just covering high school soccer locally, and you know, got some interviews, some some great talent uh and you know also doing it with the with the local teams right so i've uh, I'm going to cover i've been covering lafc games uh out to even uh international games so chivas uh guadalajara the america as well of liga mekis we're out here on on a tour uh got to cover that but most importantly i think uh that's not getting that much interest in which is that i want to go ahead and cover specifically just in the league is what's going on with the with the la galaxy i think there's a there's a uh, not that much coverage as, as it should be, but I think this this is the platform that we're here for, right? To give that coverage. Uh, fans are protesting and are upset with the the current front office. It's been over ten years that the team hasn't seen any successful uh, uh, seasons, so they're not showing up to games. They're not showing up to games. They're not cheering. They're standing outside. They're protesting. So uh, a lot of great stuff. So we're we're gathering that. We're we're covering that. We're trying to go ahead and cover you, your uh, everything that has to do with Southern California soccer. So high school soccer, uh, I mean, local uh, uh, MLS soccer as well, right? And a, even play-by-play. -play. So if anyone's interested just uh, in the platform right here with so-called uh, I mean, sideline sports is if anyone has uh, any interest of, of having your, your, your kids, your brothers, your cousin, your little sister, whatever soccer games uh, play, doing by play-by-play, um, we're right here, so we're 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 expanding on that as well too, right? So not only just covering high school soccer, local soccer, but also doing play by play in English and in Spanish. So you don't need a a major network to broadcast uh, your your soccer games. You have football under here. Absolutely, oh, yeah. and I want to finish up. Um, the show here by asking transitioning into what's coming up here for football Yanda. i know you got a little bit into it but um, what is coming up here for football Yanda? i know it's a it's an up-and-coming platform you guys' social medias are on the rise on the incline so what is coming up for you guys no i think uh the well, what, what i touched upon just this just lastly right i think we want to go ahead and uh broadcast uh local soccer games whether it be you know u18 u8 uh, to you 18 right so no matter if you're what you're the, in between those age range or or even younger you know uh so trying to get a broadcast of that you know getting the the proper equipment for that where we'll be broadcasting through facebook the youtube where it'll be twitch uh live right so they could have something that that you know a family member out in the east coast might be wanting to tune in and watch their their, their, their nephew or old relative uh play a soccer game right and that will live on on, on that platform for 
for forever, basically. So that's that's something that we have coming on. And additionally, just you know, more coverage of what's going on with the LA Galaxy, with LAFC, and any soccer uh related content that's here locally, right? We we cover Liga Mekis when, when they were out here. So we're trying to cover that and even expand, right? So we might even be looking to to cover the US and Mexico game in Phoenix. So a lot of open possibilities, a lot of things up in the air, but uh trending in the right direction, like you know, like Santa Lock and like you all are doing as well. Oh yeah. So big things coming up here, guys. From center locked Mark Vargas, he's getting his coaching career going on. He's got some episodes coming up, always bringing the heat here. And Jose Duran down there, he's got some great things coming up here for Football Leando and for the soccer world. Do not sleep on him as well. He's got all the coverage for you guys. He knows everything in football, English, Spanish, Japanese, Filipino, uh, Tagalog, whatever you got. He, man, the guy just got it all. But that's all the time we have left here on Sideline Sports Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. If you guys like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below because this is just the beginning. We're going to start bringing in with the Laker coverage, the LA Kings coverage. They're going to the playoffs. And, of course, with it being the summertime, springtime, just right now, baseball season. Of course, we've got some surprises coming up as well for that so you like like mark said you don't know what we're gonna throw at you uh, we're gonna throw you some curveballs with the content coming up you don't know who can make an appearance here it could be your local elatero man you know you, you, don't, you don't even know who can be an appearance so um hey look make the, before we go before we go look it today is what we're filming this april 4th right we're at 4 16 I'm t- telling you guys right now, watching it, we're going to hit 500 be- before 4th of July. There you go. 500 oh, I like it. before. I like it. So the fireworks show will be coming out before the 4th of July because we're going to hit that 500 subscriber. I know we get, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Like I said, we're we're transitioning some of our stuff to TikTok as well. You, everywhere you can find us, tap in because we're going to make this. This is, what, 80, 80, 84, 84 subscribers, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get six subscribers from this episode because I know you guys are excited. I know you guys are just like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? We got three different shows coming. We got three different hosts. We got a podcast with all three of them on it. Man, it, it, it's Alex, Jose, I know we've been talking. I know we've been trying to get this thing going. Uh, and, and it's not, yes, we took a, a a short break, you know, but the next season of the Sideline Sports YouTube channel is going to be just filled with so much content and we're going to hit that 500. We will hit that 500 before 4th of July. So let's bank on that. If you guys, just like Alex said, like Jose said, tap into everything we got going off. Subscribe, 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 and share. Share to your mom. Share to your Theo. Share to your Theo Steel. You know, whoever it is, make sure you share it, man. That's all. It's free. It don't cost nothing. Get ready. It. It's coming. There you go. And certified by Randy Arosarena right there himself. Just so I was just <laughs> pretend that he was here. They're certifying the whole entire thing. But thanks so much for tuning into this one. I am Alex Naveja, the host of Sideline Sports Podcast. That is Mark Vargas right on my left-hand side. Down here, Jose Duran. We're coming at you guys. Don't sleep on the content that's coming up. Have a good one, everybody. Buenas noches. And, of course, if you're not on the sideline, It's not Sideline Sports Podcast. Have a good one, guys.